This is Milton Malbay, County Clare, and during the first week of July every year, this small town plays host to one of the most important events on the Irish folk music calendar, Skullsauri Willie Clancy, or the Willie Clancy Summer School. The school offers an opportunity to students and listeners to extend their knowledge and understanding of Irish folk music through meeting some of the best of its exponents. The school also attracts participants from not only from Ireland but from England, Europe and indeed from as far afield as America and Australia. This year, students will have a rare opportunity to hear one of the best Irish fiddle players. His name is John McGreevy. John is a unique musician in that he was born and reared in Chicago and it was in that same city that he learned to play in a style that echoes the music of the great masters of the past. Although McGreevy's music is rooted in the old school of traditional playing, he is regarded as one of the most influential fiddlers alive today. His music and style have been a source of inspiration to a new generation of musicians in his native Chicago, and he is held in the same high esteem by the leading exponents of traditional fiddle playing in Ireland today. Connemara from Rusmuck, and my father was from Mayo, from Bell and Robe. I was lucky, my father was working all the time, he was a streetcar man. But uh, there was a time there in 1930 when they had a depression and there was a lot of people out of work and a lot of people uh, lost their houses if they had any, you know. But it, everything worked out pretty good for us, we were pretty lucky, you know, and uh, we still had enough to eat and everything. When my, my sister was born, the youngest one, we had a christening at our house. We had a fellow that had a parrot. He was playing the accordion, and he left the accordion there the, that night. And then uh, Monday, when I got up, I, I tried to play play a couple of things on it. And I tried it a little bit, and pretty soon I knocked out a tune on it, Maggie in the Woods, and I uh, figured, well, gee, maybe I might be able to play music, you know. And uh, so uh, it wasn't long. Uh, my mother was saying, but well, if you want to take music lessons what would you like? And I said, well, maybe I'd like to take the fiddle because I heard that before different places, you know. And uh, then I started the next week, I started at school from the nun. And uh, so I was playing away. Uh, she'd give me uh, notes to study at night when I'd come back for the next lesson. And then when I came back, uh, I'd have it down pretty good. And she'd say, I don't know, you're, you're doing some uh, other stuff besides what the notes are doing. And uh, so she says, you've got to keep after the notes. And I says, okay, sister. And after about a month or so, uh, we'd be, uh, she'd be giving me something to play and she'd play it first for me. And then I kind of learn it by myself. And then I'd go home and I'd practice. But when I come back to play for her, she says, listen, she says, you know, you're wasting your time with the notes. Why don't you just leave it go? You play by ear. She says, you do way better that way. And so that's why I didn't have too many lessons. But I learned a little, just how to read the basic part of the notes, that's all. Now you just roll your, like that. 
No. Okay, now let's... No, it's just simple like this, see? No, if I could put a roll here on this here, it wouldn't uh, on the third finger. Now, could you try it real like that? Oh, that's not, that's good. Okay, well, now we'll go through the first part of the tune and we'll put that roll in there now. Since making his first visit to Skullsauri with the Clancy in 1986, John McGreevy has become one of the most valuable teachers in the fiddle playing section. His presence at the school ensures a wider range of styles being taught and gives an opportunity to students to acquaint themselves with the intricacies of the music of the great Sligo fiddle masters such as Michael Coleman and James Morrison. class with Johnny McGreevy and I find him an excellent teacher and an excellent fiddler and that's the most important thing is that he's very good to begin with and what I like best about his teaching besides is that he'll slow down and answer questions that he makes people feel good about themselves when they're learning I think that's people learn a lot more if they feel they're doing well and he gives people that sense all the way through excellent player and he's a really fine teacher he takes time with us and you can ask him anything and he slows the tunes down and shows us the ornamentation and the bowing 